police and Muslim grooming gangs. Awareness training day. When I hear some say the government would never do that. JFK assassination, 9-11 inside job, false flags and crisis actors, chemtrails, moon hoax and aliens, Roswell, Area 51, cancer and AIDS, MK Ultra, satanic paedophiles, Project Bluebeam. And the list goes on and on and on. Boris Johnson to cut services and spending for poorer areas that just voted for him. And their money saved is being given to wealthy Surrey and Hampshire. See, we told you not to trust the Tories. There's one born every minute. But it wouldn't matter, because if it had been Labour, the same shit would have been happened, just in a different way. Cacistocracy, 19th century. Government by the least qualified or worst people. So now you can go and tell everyone that we're living in a <laughs> cacistocracy. Let's put this little Tory landslide into perspective. <clears throat> 66.4 million adults and children in the UK. 55 million adults have the right to vote. 47.5 million were registered to vote. 31.9 million actually voted. 17.9 million didn't vote for Boris. 13.9 million voted for Boris. Only one in five in the Britons voted for Boris. Virgin Care has paid zero tax on its two billion NHS deal, but happily sued the NHS for profit. Pandemic simulation exercise spotlights massive preparedness gap. Oh, really? Event 201, hosted by John Hopkins Centre for Health S Security. Evasion of fast-spreading co coronavirus with a devastating impact. Back in 2001, it was a smallpox outbreak set off by terrorists in US. That'll be the government then. Shopping malls. This fall, it was a SARS-like virus germinating quietly among pigs farms in Brazil before spreading to everyone, every country in the world. With each fic fictional pandemic, John Hopkins experts have desi designed the takeaway lesson is the same. We are nowhere near prepared. Once you, you're in the midst of a severe pandemic, your options are very limited, says Eric Toner, a senior scholar at the Centre for Health Security at Johns Hopkins University. The greatest good can happen with pre-planning. The, the centre's latest pandemic simulation event 201 dropped par participants rights in the midst of an uncontrolled coronavirus outbreak that was spreading like wildfire out of South America to wreak worldwide havoc. A fictional newscaster from GNN narrated the immune resistant virus nicknamed CAPS was crippling trade and travel, sending the global economy into freefall. Social media w was rampant with rumours and misinformation. Except, of course, it was the real information. If you want to read the full story, as usual, links are in description. Now it's time for the PEDA, I mean, uh, the, the Royal Charlie to take some shit. Charity with links to Charles is targeted in paedophile probe. Well, there's a shot. You could have knocked me over with a feather. Prince Charles and a paedophile probe. Ooh, I saw that coming. Oh, just about definitely. The Goddard inquiry into child sexual abuse is investigating links between the paedophile information exchange and a charity once headed by a trusted advisor to Prince Charles. What a shock not. Investigators have trawled through files relating to Pi and Albany Trust, a gay advocacy group chaired by Sir Harold Haywood in the 70s. Pi was a pro-paedophile activist group founded in 74 and disbanded in 84. In 76 records show the Albany Trust worked briefly with Pi to produce an information pamphlet on the sexuality of children. You mean, not only is Andrew a paedy, but so is Charlie? Well, I'm not shocked in the slightest. 11-year-old girl, gang-raped in Sweden. Perpetrators walk free and laugh in her face. 
Swedish independent journalist Joachim Lamott has talked to a mother whose 11-year-old daughter was raped by two men. The girl was forced to both anal and oral sex. The young men were arrested but released shortly after. Several times the daughter had, has met the boys when she walked to school. They laughed in her face. The mother has just been informed that investigation has been closed and that her daughter will not be re redressed. Her daughter's life has been destroyed, she says, and the only resort they see is to move to another town. She is strongly critical of how the police had, have handled the case. At the same time, the political development of, in Sweden is worrying, to say the least. While children are raped and the police fail to solve the cases, politicians in Stockholm cannot even form a government. The situation is acute and instead of taking to each other, the party leader acts like kindergartners. Because of this fuss, the new budget must not contain any new political proposals, which meant that the police will not receive any new resources. It is incomprehensible. I thought politicians would work for the people's best. <laughs> you idiot. Now they only work for their own best, right? So I'm like, oh, wow, at least you sussed it out. <coughs> They do not care that w ones suffering from the, this political mess are common people, as long as they themselves are not exposed. It's not important to take responsibility for Sweden. How many girls must be raped in Sweden before politicians act vigorously? It's high time to end the political sandbox, he concludes. Letter from alleged insider claims Zuckerberg did not create Facebook and is a front man for military intelligence. Sounds about right. Who created Facebook? Maybe people have wondered about the true origins of the social media giant, which has gone from a Harvard startup to the company with almost the most users in the world, among 2.38 billion, as one of the first quarter of 2019. This is an astonishing figure which is inching its way to one third of the entire global population. As we suppose to believe the geek genius cover story that is used so often to describe the origins of the big tech Silicon Valley companies or is there something more to the story? I suspect there's something more. French yellow vests rally for Julian Assange outside London's Belmarsh prison. More than 100 yellow vest protesters travelled from France on Saturday, joining a demonstration outside London's Belmarsh prison in defence of in, in, imprisoned WikiLeaks publisher and journalist Julian Assange. The participants of Yellow Vests in Saturday's event testified to the global scope of support for Assange, with solidarity events held in Austria, New Zealand, Mexico, Austria... Oh, Australia, Switzerland, Germany, ahead of US extradition hearings, which open London on February 24th. Assange has been held inside the maximum security prison since April 2019. If extradited, he faces Espionage Act charges and the prospect of life imprisonment or even death penalty for exposing US war crimes and global diplomatic intrigue. Two coaches filled with yellow vests arrived outside Belmarsh at 9am. They included workers and young people from Paris, Lille, Marseille, Nice and other cities and towns across France, swelling the size of the protest to over 200. The Yellow Vest contingent travelled from France amid mass strikes and demonstrations about the austerity agenda of French President Emmanuel Macron, the Rock Rockefeller and Rothschild's puppet. The French ruling elite have responded to the protest protracted yellow vest protests and strikes with police violence and repression. Corini, one of the yellow vest pro vests who helped organise Saturday's protest, told the WSWS, we wanted Julian Assange to hear that we were there. And this shows you that we have the power if we are prepared to use it. Macron scraps proposals to raise retirement age in France. Faced with an unrelenting protest over proposed changes in France's generous pension system, officials withdraw a move to raise the full benefit retirement age to 64 from the present 62. Paris, with tens of thousands of anti-government demonstrators once again crossing through the streets of Paris and other cities and clouds of tear gas and smashed store windows by agent provocateurs puncturing the urban landscape, the French government made a 
major concession on Saturday to unanimous to unions protesting its pension reform plan. It agreed to scrap, for now at least, a proposal to raise the full benefit retirement age to 62 from 62 to 64. Unlike the United States, the French government plays a huge role in the retirement plans of individuals in France. Both as a source of funds and as an overseer and grantor of the pension system. The raised age had infuriated moderate unions that the government of P President Emmanuel Macron badly needs on its side. Mr Macron has insisted the French need to work longer to strengthen a generous retirement system that is one of the world's most generous but may be heading towards a 19 billion deficit. On Saturday, with a crippling transport strike already in the sixth week, Mr Macron's government backed down, announcing that it would withdraw the new age limit and put off decisions on financing the system until it gets a report on the money problem between now and the end of April. <sighs> January 27, 2020. Q. In the coronavirus... If the coronavirus is a new, unheard-of disease, how is it that it is a... It's owned by... It's owned by... Par Bright Institute. If um, a UK company and B is already on the back of dental bottles that are uh, uh, old stock, this is a p picture of the uh, scenes <laughs> killing people who made pathogens. Again, I've put the link to this if you want to read it yourself, but as you can see, the usual suspects, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the Carnegies, and the list goes on. Link, link in the description. Vaccine for China virus, the planet is guinea pig for vast experiment. Well, yes, absolutely, as all vaccines are simply experiments on the public. <clears throat> January 26, 2020. The US National Institute of Health is launching a rush program to develop a vaccine against the China coronavirus. Now, if you recall a couple of videos I've done recently, I've been pointing out that they're going to release this and spread it all over the planet and then say, oh, you, you need this, we're going to need a mandatory vaccine. And of course, that will contain the live virus. And that's a way of wiping out humanity. The goal have a vaccine ready for human testing in an unprecedented 90 days. NIH is participating with the US vaccine company Modern Inc. The vaccine is a new type called RNA, according to Reuters, with Wuhan virus genetic code in hand. Scientists began work on a vaccine, Jan 24, 2020. These are vaccines based on ribonucleic acid a chemical messenger that contains instructions for making proteins. The PHG Foundation, University of Cambridge, explains further. Unlike a normal vaccine, RNA vaccines work by introducing an mRNA sequence, a mo molecule which tells cells that what to build, which is coded for a disease-specific antigen, virus. Once produced within the, the body, the antigen, virus, is recognised by the immune system, preparing to, it to fight the real thing. So... Basically, what they're telling you there is they are injecting you with the virus. Let's have a look at modern Twitter. The company that will be making and testing the new RNA vaccine against China coronavirus, its website states in a January 23rd press release, Moderna announces funding award for SIPI to accelerate development of messenger RNA vaccine against no no novel coronavirus. And if you believe any of that, you're still asleep. Now, if you want to look this up, A Manufactured Plague, The History of Foot and Mouth Disease in Britain by Abigail Woods. Uh, it, there, there is, I think the link is in the description. It's a PDF, but it basically explains not just foot and mouth, but all the other bird flu, swine flu, all of these other diseases they, the governments, have unleashed on the public. Pedo Andrew ignores FBI requests for interview about Jeffrey Epstein. <clears throat> Pedo Andrew has ignored requests from the FBI for an interview about his friendship with dead <laughs> paedophile Jeffrey Epstein, a top prosecutor said. US attorney for the Southern District of New York, Jeffrey Berman, announced Monday that there had been zero cooperation to repeat to request to, for help from the Duke of York. Berman made an announcement on the steps of Epstein's huge Manhattan mansion, which Andrew infamously visited in 2010, two years after the billionaire financier was convicted of child sex crime. Well, I think that was actually 2003 or 2004 because he was convicted in 2001, I believe. Um, so, Pedo Andy, 
still in the sights, thankfully. Um, and as if we didn't know, but Prince Andrew giving zero cooperation for, to Epstein says U.S. Pro prosecutors. U.S. attorneys for Southern District of New York says so far Andrew has not responded to requests for an interview. And that's because he knows how badly he did in the one he tried to get out of. He thought, I better keep my mouth shut now. Prince Andrew has provided zero cooperation with the Jeffrey Epstein sex trafficking inquiry. U.S. prosecutors said on Monday, despite earlier promises to help investigations in any way possible. Speaking outside Epstein's Ma Manhattan mansion, Jeffrey Berman, U.S. attorney of the Southern District of New York, said that, that agencies had contacted Andrew regarding the, an interview, but that he had not yet agreed to provide one. Prince Andrew stepped back from royal duties in November, after it had been everyone realised he is a dirty, filthy, child-raping paedophile, following a widely criticised interview with the BBC about his friendship with Epstein. And the reason he can't say anything is because it, it'll all be lies and because he made such a good job of his interview with the BBC, his advisers have said, you better keep your gob shut. Council's RHE watchdog is all Labour. A new group designed to keep a closer eye on 10 companies owned or part owned by Nottingham City Council met for the first time on Tuesday. However... All members are Labour, Labour councillors and all declared an interest as being on a, the board or a, of a shareholder of the council-owned company. The chairman of the new committee is council leader David Mellon, who is also on the board of property development company Blueprint, which built just so happened to build the houses that John Collins, the former leader, now lives in. Vice Chairman Councillor Sally Longford, Deputy Leader of the Council, is what on the board of heating and electric provider Enviro Energy. The three other senior council laws are on boards of or nominated shareholders of electrical and gas company Robin Hubbard Energy, road construction firm Thomas Bow, and housing provider Nottingham City Homes. Opposition groups Nottingham Independents and the Censor, uh, Conservatives both asked to be prepared sentence, centred, but were asked to sit at the back of the room and were not allowed to speak. The press were allowed at the meeting, but were warned that commercially sensitive items would be in discussion. Uh, Tory leader councillor Andrew Rule said, this just amounts to Labour councillors making their own homework. The committee is expected to meet it again in March. And now... Something that ties in with that. Watchdog won't investigate complaint about County Council secrecy. In September, Nottingham County Council held meeting about plans to scrap district and borough councils and replace them with a new council for the whole of the county. Basically a one county council. <clears throat> A complaint made by local media about meetings being held behind closed doors at the County Council will not be investigated. In September, Nottinghamshire Corrupt County Council held meetings about plan to scrap district and borough councils and replace them with a new council for the whole of the county. The local democracy reporting service, an independent news gathering service based in the Nottinghamshire live newsroom, asked to be present at the meeting, but this request was refused. Details from the meeting were later leaked to the LDRS. Labour then boycotted the meeting and they were eventually scrapped altogether by the Conservative-run council. The council has now launched an independent review into whether similar types of meetings should be held in public in the future. The plans for a super council have been put on hold indefinitely. So, no, you, no, you can't look into what we've been up to because we're a bunch of crooked criminals. Justia patents, coronavirus, 23rd July 2015. This tells you all about it. The Peer Bright Institute patented it in 2015. They also, right, so there's links to all these are in the description if you want to go and have another further read yourself. But here's another one. The CIA patent of the virus. Coronavirus isolated from humans. And this is goes back to May 22nd, 2007. They've had these viruses ready to release on us if ever we figured out what was going on and we figured it out. So get ready, they're going to start attempting to kill us a heck of a lot quicker than they have been doing. Mirror. Corey Ray dies in Las Vegas at 76. 
Andrew snubs FBI over Epstein sex quiz. Prince Stonewall's interview request despite TV pledge to help probe because he's been caught and he's going to do everything he can to make sure he doesn't screw himself over again. Metro. Auschwitz bullshit and the paedophile parasites. Zero help from Duke. Andrew shuns FBI agent investigating his paedophile pal. Mail. Hire me, Boris. My personal application for a number 10 job by PM's racy friend Jennifer Akuri. Sensational as US attorney accuses Duke of zero cooperation over Epstein case. FBI, why won't Andrew speak to us? Because he's guilty as sin of being raping children. That's why. Oh, and while we're on the parasites and remembering Auschwitz, a royal who does know how to behave. Yeah, lies. I, the secret medic, life in a hospital on black alert. We've been abandoned in Wuhan, ghost town, claim British trapped in corona coronavirus city. Prostate uh, overtakes breast as most common cancer. FBI, Prince Andrew is ignoring us. I'll come back to that. Sacreteurs in the city, young and broken hearted, to, to, so turn to the garden. Okay. US attorney calls Duke of York bluff. He has provided zero cooperation. Prosecutors and FBI have tried to interview Prince Andrew about Jeffrey Epstein's sex trafficking inquiry. Andrew, pedo, publicly promised to help the, in any pro appropriate law enforcement agencies with their investigations if required. Buckingham Player says Duke lawyers will decide on response. Lottery decision delayed by two months. Tory rebellion and as Johnson prepares to give green light to Hawaii for, for 5G. 20 years of playing God. The Sims and its tantalising illusion of adulthood. Betting firms are flouting 3pm football ban. The utter scum. Gary, choice over BBC fee. Um, Dewar's lippers a striptease. FBI, zero help from Andrew on Epstein. HRH, the pedo of York. Telegraph. Duke of York has failed to cooperate, F claims FBI. US investigators call on Prince Andrew to answer questions over Epstein's scandal. Road chiefs face criminal claims over smart motorway deaths. Johnson to defy warning and allow Hawaii to 5G network. Britain is now a small country, says Irish PM. Two weeks quarantine for Wuhan arrivals. Bolton may testify if in Trump impeachment. Row over missing corona, uh, comma, on Brexit 50p. The Guardian. Pedo Andrew accused of zero cooperation in Epstein inquiry. US prosecutors now to continue pursuit of claims against financier. I can assure you that the investigation is moving forward and Andrew's hiding out because he knows he's been caught with his cock in a kid. Lineker, make BBC licence fee voluntary. The world is forgetting what happened to us. No, it's not. You're all a bunch of lying bastards. The Times. <clears throat> Female staff alienated by sports talk at work, claims top manager. EU demands its judges keep control after Brexit. Strasbourg would rule on future UK trade rights. There you go. Evidence we are not leaving even after we have supposedly left. Pince Andrew, pedo Andrew, not cooperating with FBI. Express, 75 years on. Oh, bullshit, lies and obfuscation. PM's pledge to take back control of coastal waters after EU threat. Boris, I won't give up fishing rights. Andrew's zero cooperation with FBI in Epstein probe. Utter waste of paper. Star. Cory Ray dies in Las Vegas. World's gone mad. Don't talk about your tackle at work. Business boss footy chat is now sexist. Love our new guild, Demi. FT. Day of solemn remembrance. Bullshit. UK and the EU face post-Brexit clash over fish fi financial services. Vardakur is in con... Additional deal warning. Coastal waters trade off key for market access. 
Well, we just won't access the market then. OK, we'll go to the rest of the world, which is far better deals with anyway. Fears rise over global economic blow as China coronavirus death toll hits 81. And it was pointed out earlier by... Some, I was reading an article where something like 1.5 million uh, die each year in China. So 81 is insignificant. And finally... So technically, Moses is the first man to download files from the cloud using a tablet. Corona Beer changes their name to avoid association with the coronavirus outbreak. Ebola Extra. Again, it's one of those pictures where it says everything you could imagine. Did you know a, you had a fart problem before you signed up for submarines? We can't just open a window, you know. I think Facebook needs a button like this. You're a lying little... Me lungs are strong to the finish Because I spoke me spinach I'm Popeye the Stoner Man